let's start with the first topic that is index notation index notations are used when we have long lists of identical numbers multiplied together to avoid writing the long list we can write them in index notation form such as we can write 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 as 3 is to the power 5 where 3 is the base number and 5 is the index well index is the number of times the base number appears in the product the question arises is how to write an index notation well that is quite simple we will simply write the repeated number as a base with the number of repeats written as a small number to the upper right other than index notation form you also need to learn about expanded form and the numerical form here 3 is to the power 5 is the index notation form 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is the expanded form 243 is the numerical form now that we have learned about index notations let us solve these simple questions the first question says write the following using index notation as 2 is repeated 4 times in the question we will write 2 is to the power 4 and as 3 is repeated 2 times we will write 3 is to the power 2 therefore in the index notation form it is written as 2 is to the power 4 into 3 is to the power 2 the next question that is given here is quite opposite of the first one in this question we need to write the given index notation form in expanded form for which we will check the index of each number as the index of 5 is 4 we will write 5 4 times as the index of 7 is 3 we will write 7 3 times and as the index of 11 is 2 we will write 11 2 times so the expanded form is 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 11 into 11 the next topic that we are going to discuss here is prime factorization prime factorization is a simple way of breaking a number into its prime factors for example we can express 18 as a product of its prime factors as 2 into 3 into 3 or we can simply write in an index notation form 2 into 3 to the power 2 after learning about prime factorization and index notations now let's solve some questions from exercise 1a the question given here says that we need to find the prime factorization of the given number leaving our answer in index notation the given number is 72 first of all we will break 72 into its prime factors we will start with the smallest prime number that is 2 72 divided by 2 is 36 36 divided by 2 is 18 18 divided by 2 is 9 as 9 is an odd number and is not divisible by 2 therefore we will move on to the next prime number that is 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 1, 3 is 1 so the prime factors of 72 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 well we have factorized the number 72 but we are also required to leave our answer in index notation therefore we will write our answer as 2 is to the power 3 into 3 is to the power 2 that is as 2 is repeated 3 times we, we have written 2 is to the power 3 and as 3 is repeated 2 times we have written 3 is to the power 2 the second question that we have over here is also about prime factorization however you might have noticed that the number is given under square root sign well the only difference that it makes is that after finding the prime factors of 1764 we will write them under the square root sign therefore let's factorize the number first to break 1764 into its prime factors we will so follow the same procedure as we follow followed in the previous question we will start with the smallest prime number that is 2 
1764 divided by 2 is 882 882 divided by 2 is 441 as 441 is an odd number and it is not divisible by 2 anymore we will move on to the next prime number in line that is 3 441 divided by 3 is 147 147 divided by 3 is 49 as 49 is not divisible by 3 anymore therefore we will move on to the next prime number that is 5 but as the last digit of 49 is neither 0 nor 5 therefore 49 is not divisible by 5 the next number in line is 7 49 divided by 7 is 7 and 7 divided by 7 is 1 so finally we have all the prime factors that we have written over here under the square root sign and we know very well when the number comes twice under the square root it comes out of the square root so the final numbers we have are 2 into 3 into 7 that is 42 the third question that we have over here is also about prime factorization however you might have noticed that the number is given under the cube root sign well the only difference that it makes is that after finding the prime factors of 1728 we will write the factors under the cube root sign but first of all we need to factorize the number for which we will follow the same procedure as we followed in the previous two questions we will start with the smallest prime number that is 2 1728 divided by 2 is 864 864 divided by 2 is 432 432 divided by 2 is 216 216 divided by 2 is 108 108 divided by 2 is 54 54 divided by 2 is 27 as 27 is an odd number and is not divisible by 2 anymore we will switch to the next prime number that is 3 27 divided by 3 is 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 so finally we have all the prime factors of 1728 written under the cube root sign and we know very well whenever a number comes thrice under the cube root it comes out of the cube root so finally we have 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 3 is 12 so our final answer is 12 here we have the fourth question which we need to solve without using a calculator in this question we need to find the square root of 9801 as the factors of 9801 are already given in this question therefore we will not factorize 9801 we will simply write down the factors 3 is to the power 4 into 11 is to the power 2 as we can see that the factors are given in index notation form first of all we will write them in expanded form well we have already learned how to write in expanded form as the index of 3 is 4 we will write 3 4 times and as the index of 11 is 2 we will write 11 2 times so finally we have 9801 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11 into 11 as we need to find the square root of this number therefore we will put a square root sign over it however as per the rules of the equation whatever we do on one side of the equation we need to do it to the other side as well so we will put a square root over the factors as well now we will solve the square root sign the numbers which are repeated twice which will come out of the square root that is 3 into 3 into 11 that is 99 so our final answer is 99 okay in the fifth and final question that we have over here we need to find the perimeter of a square photo frame which has an area of 250 centimeter square 
and we are also required to leave our answer correct up to one decimal place. From the formula of perimeter of a square foot of frame that is 4 multiplied by side, it is quite obvious that we need to find out the value of one side. And by using that value of one side, we can simply find the perimeter of a square foot of frame. So we will make use of the known values to find out the value of one side of the square foot of frame. The formula of area of a square is side into side. And the value of area of a square foot of frame is 250 centimeter square. Therefore, I have written over here 250 is equal to side into side. And as we are required to find the value of one side, I have taken a square root on both sides. Breaking 250 into its prime factors, we have 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. And by taking a square root of side into side, we have one side on the other side of the equation. As 5 comes twice under the square root, it will come out of the square root and the final value becomes 5 under root 10. So the value of one side of the square foot of frame is 5 under root 10. Now by using this value we can find the perimeter. 4 multiplied by 5 under root 10 is 20 under root 10. By multiplying 20 by the value of under root 10, we have 63.24. But as we are required to leave our answer correct up to one decimal place, we will write the final answer as 63.2.